Hi guys, if you listen to the likes of Jonathan Gullis or Lee Anderson or even the Prime Minister, they will claim that the Tories can still win the next general election. How much they actually believe that, we may never know. But not everyone is living in cloud cuckoo land, and there is a growing understanding that reality is staring them straight in the face. Now, bar some divine intervention or the polls being so off that the likes of YouGov end up shutting up shop, the Conservatives are facing a trashing at best and complete annihilation at worst. Some Tories, it seems, are thinking about life after the general election and to what the party will look like in opposition. But for now, people like Tim Montgomery, the creator of Conservative Home, is accepting reality. I'm a Conservative and I always want the Conservatives in power if possible but i think one of the lessons of you know his recent i think very thoughtful interventions on hs2 and net zero decisions i do not think would be reversed by an incoming labor government mm. you can have me back sophie and you can <laughs> remind me <laughs> okay, if, I'll, if I'll, i'm yeah. wrong on those things yeah. <laughs> but i think he got into the detail of those policies and i think he was right hs2 would completely overrun net zero we are we were running a little bit ahead of our ability to deliver but as political impacts zero yeah Absolute yeah, zero. Yeah. I don't think people are listening to the Conservatives anymore. Mm -hmm. I think they're not listening to him, even though he's a new Prime Minister. We have passed our sell-by date, I'm afraid, as a party. So I approve of what he's doing in these speeches, in these interventions. I think they're thoughtful. I think they will shape government for a number of years to come. But if Conservative MPs worried about their majorities are hoping that this is going to change the political weather, I'm afraid they're wrong. I think it's past that. I think they... No, I agree with him and I disagree with him. I disagree with him when he talks about HS2 and net zero. Of course, he supports these policies, so he will, of course, support the Prime Minister in rolling back and suspending them. Now, of course, they're controversial and I think it was the wrong decision of uh, Rishi Sunak. But the part where I agree with him, yes, the Tories are past their sell-by date. Rishi Sunak has tried to present himself as new, as fresh, as something different. But he can't do that because the public are tired of the Conservatives. Rishi Sunak hasn't presented himself as something radical. Recently, he's talking about going backwards. So he's not doing anything radical. He's not separating himself from the Conservatives. Yes, some of the rhetoric we're hearing from the uh, cabinet ministers and Rishi Sunak himself is an attempt to differentiate themselves from the Tories of the last 13 years. But then at, in, in the next breath, they will say what they have achieved since 2010. So they can't have their cake and eat it. They can say that they're different, but remember what we've done since 2010. So he, he can't win because he's too tied to the Conservative Party and the public are sick and tired of that. They want change. They want these people out. They don't see their lives getting better. And Rishi Sunak can talk about how he's trying to help people and he's pumping money into this and that and the other. But if people don't feel any difference, if people don't see things getting better, the rhetoric is useless. It has no impact. He actually has to do things in order to win the public back. And he hasn't done anything or very, very little. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.